Now we're going to get B in. And this is our formula from the exam paper. Notice they took the, there's two forms in the back of the exam paper. This is the one I'm using here. Notice the limits, right? So um, we're going to sub in big T. T is the period in this question was 2 pi. And so I have 2 pi over 2 up there. Minus 2 pi over 2 here. Keep FT for a while. And now we're going to have sine 2n pi small t over 2 pi. So there's a bit of cancelling going on here. And we end up with 1 over pi. And limits are going to be pi over minus pi. We still have f of t sine. The 2 pi is going to disappear from the top and the bottom there. And we end up with nt. Sine nt dt. <coughs> now, this limit here, uh, minus pi, see t, t, t has got a weird behavior here. And it behaves itself from 0 up to pi. So we want a 0 down here. And that's no problem because integrating gets us the area under the graph and it's going to be zero between minus pi and zero anyway. So the integral between minus pi and pi is going to be the same, you get the same answer as integrating from zero to pi, which will be the area under the graph here. So there's a zero here and a pi here, and now we can point our function t from part a. So f of t will equal t between 0 and pi. So it's okay to put it in. <coughs> now when we get this structure here again, uh, this integral of t times uh, a trig function n t, we have to use, we have to go to page 26 in the log table, and you'll see there's uh, integration by parts formula there, and it goes like this, integral of u d v, equals u v minus the integral of v du. So we're comparing this guy here with this structure here and we're gonna let we're gonna let u equal t and then we're gonna differentiate this the u dt is gonna equal one so the u equals dt and dv then equals sine nt dt but well, we want v because we want to better stick it in here into the formula in a few lines time so to, to go from dv to v we integrate so v is going to be equal to the integral of sine nt dt and sine integrates to negative cosine so we get minus co cosine of what's in the brackets multiply by 1 over the first derivative of the contents of the brackets. So v equals minus cosine nt over n. And now we're going to rewrite this bit up here. See bn equals this, but we're going to go bn. Now we hold our 1 over pi out like that. And we'll use a big curly bracket here. And u then, u is t v is this guy here and put that in a bracket because we're going to still have to apply the limits from pi to zero and then we're going to have minus the integral of v du so that's minus the integral and the limits are pi and zero v is still minus cos nt over n uh, uh, times du and du is dt which suits us good there Close the curly brackets. And uh, now, what are we going to do? Now we can start integrating this, these two bits. So we still have our 1 over pi. Um, keep our curly bracket here. We can, what can we do? Well, before integrating, we can take out minus 1 over n here. Right, so we can, because that, with respect to t, n is positive, so we can have minus 1 over n out here, and we're left with t cos n t in here. Now, before we apply the limits, and t 
then we can integrate well before integrating here we'll take out minus one over n because that's pos that's constant with respect to t n is constant with respect to t so we get plus uh, one over n times this integral here which is cos n t dt no um, one over pi curly bracket minus one over and we can apply the limits now we're going to have pi cos n pi minus and then zero is going to win for t so this whole thing here is going to be zero so it's hardly worth writing it down even n times zero is going to give us it's going to give us a zero in the bracket there anyway you know this whole thing here is going to go to zero. Um, um, we'll go back over that in a minute. And then I have one over n, and now I'm going to integrate this. Pos integrates on page 26 there in the log book. It integrates the positive sign, so we get sine nt. And because it's just not t in the bracket, we have to go one over the contents of the bracket. So it's going to be one over n there. You might need to refresh your integration skills, look on the previous notes, etc. So that's our curly bracket. It's supposed to be the curly bracket there. And now, um, you see here, when we apply these limits here, well, we'll, we'll see that now in a second. 1 over pi uh, minus 1 over n. And... Uh, this whole thing has gone to zero, so the pi actually here can 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 come out here when we get uh, minus pi over n there, and that's going to be cos n pi. All right, this gone this is gone onto zero, and then we have plus uh, one over n, and no, the n the one over n can slide out here, so we get one over n squared, and we're going to have sine n t and there's the limits yet to be applied so um keep her lit minus pi over n here uh cos n pi now cos n pi so you're going to have cos of one pi cos of two pi cos of three pi cos of four pi etc right and uh cos of pi I'm written down here somewhere the brain isn't working 100 percent so we'll just go cos of pi well we have it here cos of three pi is minus one from earlier right so cos of pi is going to be minus one as well cos of two pi is going to be plus one you can check them out on the calculator set to rads you could draw out your cos function mess around with it that way so this is uh, uh, when n equals one we get this result here and when, when n equals two we get this result when n equals three we get this result right when n equals four we get this result so cos n pi can be replaced with this structure here cos n pi can be replaced with minus one to the power of n, right? Because when n is one, minus one to the power of one is minus one. When n is two, minus one to the power of two is plus one. So this guy can replace, so we can put in minus one to the power of n here. Now, then we have this guy here, sine n, n pi. Now that's gonna be, applying the limits, we're gonna have sine n pi, minus sine and zero times n is going to give us zero there right the sine of zero is zero and then the sine of pi is zero right the sine of one pi and the sine of two pi is zero etc sine of three pi is zero it's all zero so this whole bracket here goes to zero which makes uh 
takes a, a little bit of difficulty that's for sure so then so then that bracket is gone so on the next line um i'm going to have one over pi times minus pi over n uh times minus one to the power of n and we have a lot of brackets there right so now i can cancel my pi's here and i get minus one over n times minus one to the power of n now this can be further tidied up so we're already down to the stage where we have uh, minus one over n multiplied by minus one to the power of n now this is like minus one here to the power of one times minus one to the power of n all over n right now so the, on top here we have a multiplication of two items with the same basis so we can add the part by the rules of indices we can write down minus one to the power of n plus one on top and that's all over n and that there is bn reduced down and ready to go into the final formula along with its little friends a0 and an